Halloween Twin Geeks! We love our Disney movies. Seriously, who doesn't? Well, conspiracy theorists and people with ice in their hearts. Speaking of ice, this week we will be discussing Disney's new animated feature, Frozen, roughly based on the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Snow Queen. Frozen is about a little princess named Elsa who has a magical power and she can turn things into ice. She's very tight with her little sister, Anna. <laughs> Voiced by Kristen Bell from Veronica Mars. Hi, me? Oh, hi. Until a magical accident happens, everything changes. The king and queen take the girls to the very cool rock trolls who sing a really cool song later in the movie called Fixer Upper. Elsa has been warned that her powers mixed with fear will cause chaos and destruction. So the sisters are locked up in their castle and kept apart from each other. But Anna doesn't know why Elsa's so distant. Come back! No spoilers! But as you know, it's about sisters who are pulled apart from each other by circumstances beyond their control. But it's Disney, so there's not going to be any fighting or name calling. No hitting her hair pulling here. Let's just say that they have communication issues. But Anna and Elsa see each other at Elsa's coronation. But things don't go well. Things get icy. There's a prince that easily sweeps shutting Anna off her feet. He wants to marry her, and Elsa builds this amazing ice castle. And Anna meets Kristoff and his adorable reindeer, Sven. And there's a lot of singing. Well, it's Disney. Duh. It's not spoilers to say that true love is needed to save the day. Because, I mean, it's a Disney fairy tale movie, so... But who exactly is the true love? We forgot to mention Olaf. Olaf! Now I'm perfect. Almost. <laughs> oh, whoo! Head rush. Olaf is a magical snowman. He's funny, but not annoying. He's also able to be quiet for the sad or thoughtful moments. I want an Olaf. I was really excited to know that Indina Menzel, who voices Elsa, was going to be in another Disney film. She was in Enchanted, but you probably know her as the original Elphaba from Wicked or Rachel's mom on Glee. Spoilers! She's really not bad. Just misunderstood. It's kind of typecasting, you think? But seriously, Adina Menzel was amazing! Her character had a lot of depth, and her talent to portray it was wow. Disney should have her in everything. My favorite part of the movie was when Anna and Prince Hans were singing about true love and being crazy. My favorite song was either Let It Go or Do You Wanna Build a Snowman? Come on, let's go outside and play. I like Let It Go because Adina Menzel sings it and that automatically makes it cool. And it has a lot of layers and depth and power to it. And Do You Wanna Build a Snowman is also emotional and it reminds me of I Know It's Today. Watch or Shrek the musical video because it's about a young princess growing up shut away from the world. And it's funny. Anna's it's funny. I felt bad for Anna. Who do you think you are? More of an Elsa or Anna? I don't know. What do you think? I'm an Anna. I think you're an Elsa because you never get cold. Well, that is true. And you're the evil twin. Not really. I hate to say it, but it was, this was much better than Tangled. This is our fourth Disney princess movie in theaters. But don't worry. We're very well versed in princesses. It's way better than Brave or Tangled. It has a more interesting plot, it's better, and it has two times the princesses. I think almost anyone would like this movie. Even our dad liked it, so this is definitely Tweaks Approved. Agreed. Go see Frozen and tell us what you think. We want comments, people. Bye! The cold never bothered me anyway.